trying to think about you. About you. My dress was probably just tight. Oh, my God. You got food poisoning from that restaurant, didn't you? We had a fantasy sequence when they go into the dress shop. And it was really a very funny sequence of her having this fantasy of what her life would be like if she could be in this dress. Kristen's character is all of a sudden in a castle, and all the men at the wedding are fawning over her. That's just an escape from the castle. She goes running out into the fields and runs into the forest, and she sees... Matt Damon is a wood chopper with his shirt off, and he's like, quick, come run into my muscles. And up under a bearskin rug. Sorry, on a bearskin rug, he was like combing her hair. In the meantime, Helen gets the women to get the dress she wants because Kristen's caught up in her fantasy. It was very funny, but we wanted kind of a big physical water cooler scene. Judge came and said, Look, go write something that ends with food poisoning. We had to bring the perspective into how a woman would deal with having food poisoning and trying to cover it up. It was Annie Mumolo. goes, Or she would do this, and she acted that out. I remember her just going, It's happening, it's happening, and slowly sinking down onto the carpet and so we were like okay that's so funny <laughs> i'd never heard an audience of women laugh that loud at something in my life as a comedy director you live for those moments when something just goes through the roof it just rocked the house down i feel lucky that people responded to that and to the movie in general <laughs> The reason that movie worked, it was the fact that this was a very relatable story about a person having a crisis in their life. Every comedy is a drama that just has a lot of funny stuff.